vegan, because we know the horrendous crimes of slaughterhouses. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Does anyone feel like a pizza? Impress your friends with your vegan cooking skills and treat yourself to a hot and deliciously tasty homemade Detroit-style vegan pizza. Classic Italian-American cuisine, part one of two, Detroit-style vegan pizza. Watch on to find out more. The locals in Guam greet each other in a friendly way by saying half a day, which means hello and tomorrow, one of the official languages used on the beautiful island Guam. My name is Talina. The big-hearted people of Guam applaud the noble and kind deeds you do for humanity. Welcome to our show, Classic Italian-American Cuisine, Part 1 of 2, Detroit-Style Vegan Pizza. Pizza was originally known as a food for the poor in 18th century Naples, but has since evolved to become a source of national, regional pride and cultural identity in Italy. In the 20th century, pizza followed Italian immigrants to America and found its second home there, where it became the nation's most popular dish. Pizza has been adapted to local cuisines in America and has become a metaphor for cultural exchange. There are countless ways to create a pizza, giving rise to many names, such as Chicago Deep Dish, Sicilian, New York style, pan crust, or thin crust. The city of Detroit boasts a hearty pizza known as the Detroit style square. It is baked in a rectangular pan and unlike a traditional round pizza, various toppings are placed directly on the pizza dough, followed by cheese and red sauce drizzled on top. This unconventional pizza construction is to avoid the crust from turning soggy. Today, we are delighted to have Dave teach us how to make the iconic Detroit-style vegan pizza. Enjoy the show! Hello everybody, my name is Dave and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Detroit-style pizza. First, we're gonna be making our sauce. We're gonna turn on our stove and bring it to a medium heat. All right, this is a cup of ketchup. A half cup of water. And next will be our spices. Light brown sugar, cane sugar, black pepper, some salt, and some dry mustard powder. Make sure you stir all your ingredients together. So once you bring it up to a boil, we're gonna reduce the heat a little bit and let it simmer. Make sure you keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. Uh, because of the ketchup, it tends to be uh, easy to burn. So the sauce is getting a bit darker, more of like a maroon kind of color. It's all thickened up now. I'm gonna turn off our fire, and pour out all our sauce in there, and let it cool down. And now our sauce is all ready to go. Next, we're gonna be making our dough for our pizza. So first, we're gonna get some water at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pour it in our bowl. Yeast, maple syrup, all right, the maple syrup and the warm water is gonna help activate the yeast very well. And then in 10 minutes, you'll start to see it foam. Now our yeast is starting to activate and it's foaming. 
I have two cups of bread flour. Bread flour uh, has more gluten in it and that'll help uh, really develop our pizza dough. And then we're throwing about a fourth teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put it on our stand mixer and I'm gonna put it on a medium speed. Right now you can see that the dough is kind of uh, slowly incorporated. If you don't have a stand mixer, you're gonna have to knead this by hand and that'll probably take about half an hour or so. Our dough has been kneading for about five minutes now and it looks like it's all ready to go. Here we have a uniform dough. It's very smooth and well incorporated. There's no lumps of flour. We're gonna transfer into a bowl. Uh, we're gonna put a, about a tablespoon of olive oil in here so that it, uh, after it's done proofing, it doesn't stick to the bowl. And just, I'm just gonna spread the olive oil all over. And then I'm gonna just put my dough in there. All right, you can just uh, mix up the, the dough a little bit with the oil. And once uh, the dough is covered in the oil, we're just gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it proof in a warm area uh, for about an hour to two hours. If your climate is a bit colder, it might take a bit longer. Uh, just make sure that it doubles in size. Uh, so I have a, a, a piece of dough here that I've been proofing for a couple hours. And let's take a look at it. Uh, it's about doubled in size now. Uh, because this is a Detroit style pizza, we're gonna really need these one of these steel pans. And you can also use a cake tin. Here I have about a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm gonna pour half of it into the steel pan. All right, once the pan is fully coated, I'm going to transfer the dough here so that we can proof it a second time. Make sure you're gentle with your dough when you're transferring it to the steel pan. I'm just gonna be gentle with this, stretch it out just a little bit to the edges. You don't have to spread it out to the edges right away. The second proof will probably stretch it out to the edges of the steel pan. And then pour the rest of the olive oil on it. All right, make sure the whole dough is covered in the olive oil. And when that's ready, we're gonna cover it with some ceram wrap for a second proof. Leave this another warm area for another hour. And after it's doubles up in size again, we'll get ready to uh, put our toppings on there and bake it. We're gonna cook up our vegan chicken strips with our vegan barbecue sauce. Turn on our stove and start at a, a medium heat. Let our pan heat up. Gonna toss in our vegan chicken strips. And we're gonna use about half of our sauce and then the rest is for the, the pizza. Stir it occasionally. Our vegan chicken strips have been cooking for about five minutes or so now and it's starting to crispen up. The vegan barbecue sauce is starting to dry up a little bit and starting to get stuck to the vegan chicken strips. Um, get ready to take it off the heat and transfer it onto a plate. And there we have our vegan barbecue chicken strips. Now that our dough has proofed a second time, we're gonna get ready to uh, just put all our toppings on there and bake it. If the dough doesn't uh, reach all the way to the edges, it's perfectly fine, you can just leave it. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with our vegan barbecue chicken strips. Make sure every bite gets a little bit of the vegan chicken strips. I'm gonna do our olives next. Vegan barbecue chicken is a bit uh, on the sweeter side. 
um, because of all the sugar that we had when we cooked the sauce in there. So the olives will add a little bit of a saltiness to it and it tastes really good with that. Then we're gonna move on to artichokes. Um, I like artichokes because it has a little bit of a sour, kind of a tartness to it, and it really complements the vegan barbecue chicken very well. Sometimes uh, the whole piece is a bit too large, so I like to peel it in half. One of the last things we need is gonna be our vegan mozzarella shreds. All right, and once that's all on, we can get our vegan barbecue sauce. We're gonna spread the sauce in like racer stripes. Just gonna put three straight lines of sauce on there. Once we put it in the oven at 500 degrees, so everything's just gonna get cooked very thoroughly. All right, and now it's ready to just be popped in the oven. And in 20 minutes, we'll check on it and it should be good to go. All right, so our pizza's all done. Let's take it out. There we go, wow, that looks great. I'm gonna let it here uh, cool for about 10 minutes. Now that our pizza has cooled off a little bit, I'm gonna transfer it onto a wire rack. Start cutting it into pieces. My scissors here. Oh, you can hear that crunch from the crust. Looks like it's gonna be 12 pieces. You can really smell the vegan barbecue sauce on this. It's, uh, it's quite fragrant. The vegan cheese is melted really well. Uh, the vegan barbecue trips seems very well incorporated onto the crust and the vegan cheese. Mmm, looks really good right now. All right, I'm gonna transfer it onto the plate. Some basil. We have our Detroit style vegan pizza. All right, let's have a taste. Mmm, that's really good. The crust is just a little bit crispy, but in, in the inside it's still nice and fluffy. Barbecue sauce really complements that. The artichokes and the olives, mm, it's really good. And the basil adds a little bit of freshness to it. Mmm. It's been a pleasure making this Detroit style vegan pizza for you. I hope you enjoy it at home and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the vegan barbecue sauce, the ingredients are one cup or 250 milliliters of ketchup, half cup or 125 milliliters of water, two tablespoons or 30 grams of cane sugar, two tablespoons or 30 grams of light brown sugar, half teaspoon or 2.5 grams of salt, one teaspoon or five grams of black pepper, one teaspoon or five grams of mustard powder. For the pizza dough, the ingredients are two cups or 550 grams of bread flour, two and quarter teaspoons or 12.5 grams of yeast, two teaspoons or 10 milliliters of maple syrup, one cup or 250 milliliters of warm water, 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit, quarter teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of olive oil and quarter cup for coating the dough. For the vegan toppings, the ingredients are six ounces or 170 grams of vegan chicken strips from Guardian or other vegan food company, six ounces or 170 grams of artichoke hearts, 2 ounces or 56 grams of olives, 8 ounces or 226 grams of vegan mozzarella cheese shreds from Daya or other vegan food company, 1 ounce or 28 grams of basil for garnishing. Kind viewers, 
We hope you have enjoyed our show and that Dave has inspired you to make this delicious Detroit-style vegan pizza for you to enjoy yourself or with friends and family. They'll surely love it. Don't forget to join us next week for part two of our show as Dave will share with us how to make another Italian-American favorite, vegan spinach lasagna. Up next is Be Your Children's Best Friend, part three of six on Between Master and Disciples. May God bless you always. Have a lovely day. Vegan, because we want to live long and healthy. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour des recettes véganes internationales gratuites et voir les langues disponibles, veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique VEG et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Para recetas veganas internacionales gratuitas y para disponibilidad de idiomas, visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Pentru recete vegane internaționale gratuite și limbile disponibile, vă puteți uita pe suprimastetv.com baroblică vg și suprimastetv.com baroblică schedule.